I wanted to ask a question. How many of you actually call the blogger parents? They all respond to my email. <laughs> <laughs> and um, those of you that are visiting the school, put your hands up. Awesome. Yay. Yay. Welcome. Welcome to our school. Uh, every year, and it'll usually be around the springtime, that we're going to host uh, an inspirational community speaker series event. And we're going to feature a speaker that's going to enable parents to learn um, how to raise their children um, in more effective ways. It's all about basically becoming more of who you are, even for the parent. At the school, we do it for the children, but when we're putting this community event, it's also to spread that for the parent. And the speaker series is always going to have an element of that to inspire the parent, to get them connected with other parents, and learning and growing um, through the experience. So it gives us a chance to invite people to our school. And your favorite teacher, if you think back, everything they did, they did it as part of believing that you could be a successful person. And you knew it. You just intuitively knew it. Everything that person did for you, they didn't because they believe in me. It's because we always pick a topic for every, once it was emotionally um, healthy children. And this year it's about raising responsible children around discipline. So because there's a topic that's around the speaking event, we draw the parents that are very interested in that topic, and now they're connecting with each other. So the feedback has been great, because they're not only learning the lessons, but they're walking away with friends that are probably struggling through some of the same things. Uh, just because some theories said that with rats and dogs, consequences are God's gift to the world of discipline, that doesn't mean they work that well for children. They're just a technique, and you'll find they work better on some kids than others. And besides, they're too reactive. And I like the prevention tools, like routine. I was already talking to you about that. And, um, and values, and character, and all of those things that, that build responsibility, so you're preventing most of the problems. It was refreshing. I wish more parents were uh, aware of this. I've seen many of the mistakes that I've been making on a daily basis, and I know I've seen them elsewhere. Um, but if you have, uh, you know, youngsters, it's it's not too late, and a lot of the techniques are, are simple. Um, you just have to implement them. They are um, having a loving relationship with that child, and we don't want to betray that by acting in a way that um, isn't from the heart and isn't a, a, a good way to model. In teaching children to behave appropriately, to start with please, thank you, hold the door open for others, all the little courtesies, bring your dishes over to the sink, those are the building blocks. And in today's world where people are so busy, people are overlooking the little things and then wondering why they're not getting the big things. I thought it was very educational that you could take, you know, kids and instead of always punishing them to get them to do what you want and sort of educate them, teach them before they make a mistake. So if anything, it helped to confirm for me with a lot of things that I'm doing already that, okay, yes, we are on the right path and we all, everybody has moments where you sort of fall to your default, um, but for the most part, you know, okay, we're on the right path, and that, that means a lot too. To Working with people today, um, I hope everybody gets something from it. We had a lot of humor, but then as with dealing with teenagers, uh, laughter opens their brain, criticism closes it. With teenagers, you can actually hear it snapping shut when you start criticizing them. And when people are given their Saturday afternoon, the laughter keeps us all going and gives us the energy to absorb some of the more serious points. And it was a great afternoon. I hope everybody got something from it. What I would love is that more, more people attend. We've had 80 to 100 people attend these events. Um, I would love for even more to be able to come. And I also want people to be able to connect with us on our social media, media realms. We will have the YouTube channel, but we also have a Twitter account and a Facebook page. And I'm hoping they can engage and learn about uh, the, what the school is doing for children and parents and engage in that way as well because inspiration comes in all forms.